Women's basketball, their first home game of 2023 inside the Clark Athletic Center, taking on a tough UMass Dartmouth Corsairs team on Wednesday night. Early on, all beacons. Meg Dixon had two technical free throws that she'd hit to make it 2-0, and then Alexa Potter hits her shot right there, makes it 4 nothing UMass Boston. Potter, on the miss from Paige Olivier, lays this one up and in, makes it 6-2 to two, UMass Boston. Then the cap off the run, Carrie Ann Farina with the steal against Jordan Moretti, makes it 8-2 to two, UMass Boston in the early going. Paige Olivier, who had her Herself a season high day with 16 points. Hits a three right there to put the Beacons in control. And then Olivier again with a layup with the Beacons down by one in the closing moments of the first quarter. Lays it up and in. The Beacons go up 17 to 16 heading into the second quarter. And then Olivier again kicking off a 9 2 run for the Beacons in the second quarter with the three right there as they trailed by six. Sonny Green with the tough layup. Gets it to go. The Beacons continuing to work themselves back into this game. Tatiana Fevry, the freshman, with the tough layup, makes it a one-point game. And then Sabela Jensen gives the Beacons the lead back, 26-25 on that layup, about halfway through the second quarter. We move on later in the second quarter. Page Olivier with a three, a part of a 7-2 to Beacons run to close out the second quarter to help them go into the half up by four. As you see Sabela Jensen with the layup right before the buzzer. Beacons up. 37 33 into the halftime locker room coming out in the second half. Sonny Green with this layup gives the Beacons their largest lead of the game at seven points 40 to 33. But then the UMass Dartmouth Corsairs would respond. A layup right here ends up making it a three point game in favor of the visiting team, 45-42. But then the Beacons respond with a 10-0 run, starting with Alexa Potter right there. A nice feed to her. And then Meg Dixon, it's tipped around. Dixon down low somehow gets it to fall on the Beacons. Pouring it on now, Biba Jakimi Pearson with the turnover on that steal right there, lays it up and in. The Beacons now in control by three, and they continue to go at it. Potter down low gets the feed, the spin move, layup. The Beacons up now by five points, and then Potter capping off that run to give the Beacons a seven-point lead again with a jumper. UMass Boston in full control, but then the Corsairs would work themselves back into this one. And then Paige Olivier hits a pair of free throws to put the Beacons up by two, heading into the fourth. Jessica Carroll, though, with a pair of big shots for UMass Dartmouth right here. A jumper right there and then a three-pointer helped make it a five-point game in favor of the visitors. Trailing by four later on, you see them down low again, the Corsairs. Giving it back to the Beacons, now up by eight. And then Kalen Zalewski with the three puts UMass Dartmouth up by 11, but just over five minutes to go. But the Beacons would respond. Paige Olivia right here hits another three. And just like that, it's an eight-point game. Once again, the Beacons trying to climb back into it. Tatiana Fevry with the layup right there makes it a five-point game. And then Meg Dixon, a layup, makes it a five-point game. Yet again, 72 60 Seven. And then Alexa Potter hits this free throw right here. It's now a two-point game with three minutes left. But then Jordan Moretti seals the deal for UMass Dartmouth. A deep three right there makes it a five-point game. And then Moretti yet again on the screen nails another. Jordan Moretti finishing this game with 19 points on 6-17 to 17 shooting. UMass Dartmouth takes this one 82-75. to 75. The Beacons are back in action in an LEC Conference matchup on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock against Keene State College.